So I'm in the beautiful Santa Fe, New Mexico right now, a place I used to live. And it's the first time I've been back since I moved. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a minute of Colorado Martini. So we came into Santa Fe to have margarita and a little lunch and it's a beautiful sunny day on um, the beginning of September. So the weather is you know, still real nice and it can be warm. Just be warned that storms do come in in the afternoon and there you can be really violent uh, thunderstorms. So, any kind of hiking that you're going to do in this area, make sure you get it out of the way in the morning uh, so you don't get caught in one of these just really hellacious uh, thunderstorms. But the, the beauty of the clouds is just wonderful. One of the neat things about um, Santa Fe, there's always a ton of street vendors. And this time of year, you can drive down the street and get roasted peppers. Oh my God, they're to die for. Chilies, I mean. Um, and they are so good. So everywhere you go are merchants, um, everything from turquoise to silver. Um, it's a wonderful place to come buy jewelry. So it brings lots of money for jewelry and a lot of times they just take cash. So over here you'll find a whole row of people that sell along the street. Um, and this is on the north side of the plaza. So Santa Fe is usually very dog friendly. Um, walking your dog around town is very well accepted. Western from the Capitol. This is the state capitol right here. Um, here's the um, Lou Wallace building. And so right across the street from the Capitol at the Lou Wallace building is a really nice parking lot that you can park in. You can pick up um, your shuttles and your buses here too. So this is the Capitol building right here. Make sure that you go in and check out the artwork. They have a beautiful art display. It's a round building. You can walk, you know, in a circle to see the artwork. Unfortunately, it's closed while we're here, so I can't take you in, but definitely check it out. So we're walking towards the La Fonda. There's the La Fonda. We're on the original Santa Fe Trail route. So the merchants and the wagons would come right down this road and go straight to the plaza. The plaza was the end of the road. And the La Fonda was the hotel for the train. You see the bags that are up on top of all the buildings? It's Christmas time. And this is a tradition. And you can actually get a string of bags like that, like you can a string of Christmas lights. Um, and they're just beautiful at night. And we'll take a look at that. Luminera is what you call the bags that are on top of all the buildings at Christmas time. Things are really cool. You can actually purchase them. They're like, they look like the authentic bags because they used to be the brown paper bags. Um, but they're like regular Christmas lights and they're plastic and they're closed up in top so you they don't get the snow and the rain and stuff and they're pretty darn cool 
and look at how pretty they are. Look at the adobe structure, the Loretto, right behind us. Um, I just love them. I think they're wonderful. And here we come up to the plaza. So this is the plaza. This was the end of the road for the Santa Fe Trail. Um, it's winter time right now and you can see it's still hopping. They do, they do quite a Christmas Eve here. Um, so let's go take a look at the plaza area. While strolling the streets of Santa Fe, make sure to stop by the Cornell Building at 208 West San Francisco Street, where you will find the historic building that once acted as a jail for Billy the Kid. He was in prison for the last time in the downstairs jail from December 27, 1880 to April 2nd 1881. There's a plaque on the building with the story. Most, I love how I'm in one of the most Catholic cities in America and they're having one of the best Hanukkah celebrations I've ever seen. So this is the Laredo Chapel, and the Laredo Chapel is where there is a staircase that was carved out of one log, and it's pretty miraculous how it still stands. So. So this is San Miguel Church. It is uh, the oldest church structure in the United States.
towards the outside of the church and you can still see the straw in the adobe, which is really awesome. So right across the street from the church is the oldest house in the United States. The house was built in 1646. Um, that's pretty awesome. Um, you can still see, I mean, the doors are actually very short. Um, and you can see the adobe. And you can still see the straw that's in the building. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm standing at the building. Um, the oldest house and as you can see the doorways are a lot shorter than a normal doorway um, it's so cool how you can still see the straw um, and the adobe in the building it's very awesome so um, you? you can actually tour um, the museum of the oldest house. Now I want to point out the blue that you see in a lot of the building doorways. What this is for is it's thought to keep out evil spirits and you see it all over New Mexico and it's always in the entryways and in the windows and it's that turquoise blue and it's just so indicative of this area. So this is Sam That's Miguel's. That's the original rock foundation right there. And yeah, there's the original rock foundation. And this is the back of the building. And it's so cool um, because it's you can just really see the straw, the stress fa uh, fractures. Um, you can even see the wood beams. Seeing that hole right there in the stucco reminds me that they have woodpeckers here to knock holes in the side <laughs> of your house. Do you remember? Yes, I do remember <laughs> that. <laughs> an awesome building. Three foot thick wall. So last time we were in Santa Fe, we couldn't get into the Basilica because of a wedding. So we're gonna see if we can go in now. I used to love to come sit in this park next to the Basilica. I would come here all the time. I'd go in my lunch hour and go in the Basilica with my friends and pray. And I'd sit here. He used to pray I'd get a job. And I'd sit in this park and have lunch. And I actually used, now that I remember, I used to pray for the people that were in that cemetery there. Do you remember uh, what happened to them? No, I just remember praying for them. <coughs> Let's go over there, maybe it says.
What do you think you're gonna get while you're here at the Pink Adobe? You know, I don't know about the food, but the uh, mini mule tasting looks great. I think I'll start with the tropical Malibu rum mule <laughs> and only degrade myself from there. <laughs> and that's at the Pink Adobe. Here we go, let's check it out. The Pink Adobe is considered Santa Fe's oldest and best known restaurant. It was established in 1944. The Pink Adobe is regarded as Santa Fe's own national treasure and is referred to by locals as The Pink and is located in one of the oldest areas in Santa Fe. It was given its name because of the original rose color of the historic 300 year old house that is now the home of the pink adobe. If you want to have good Frito pie you need to go into the five and dime you go to the back and that's where you'll find uh, the Frito pie. We're going to go into Ortega's um, and it's right here on the plaza. They have really good Mexican food. And then there's the Plaza Cafe, which is, has the best breakfasts. Um, it's a very popular place to go in town um, for breakfast. One of our favorite places is Tia Sofia's, where you can get stuffed sopapillas. Oh my God, they are so good. A stuffed sopapilla is dough that has been fried until puffy and hollow, then stuffed with southwestern flavored meat, doused in chili sauce. It is common to see pozole as a side dish. Pozole is a traditional soup or stew from Mexican cuisine. It is made from harmony with meat added. It is also common to be served sopapillas with a side of honey rather than corn chips and salsa. And oh, if you've never had a sopapilla, they are out of this world. When going to a restaurant, be prepared to answer red, green, or Christmas. The server is asking what kind of chili you would like poured over your dish. The difference between the two sauces is not only its color, but a red pepper is riper than a green pepper and so it can have a sweeter taste, while the green sauce may have a more herby flavor and is considered to be hotter. Christmas is the two colored sauces poured over the dish. I always go for Christmas on the side because New Mexico food can be very spicy with it on the side, I can control the heat. Red and green or Christmas was adopted as the official answer of the enchanted land of New Mexico. You have not been to Santa Fe unless you try the local fare. And if you haven't noticed yet, the chili is the mainstay of the land. Do note that when you eat in most restaurants in the downtown area, parties larger than four will have an automatic 18 to 20% tip added to their bill.
Make sure to check out all our videos on traveling in New Mexico. It is truly an enchanted place.